Okay. So I think uh, UJ we talked uh, last week. Uh, yeah. First kita kata uh, sejak saya ambil tarik I think last week 26 banyak 19. Okay. Dekat sini. Okay. So kat sini bila 119 kita kata paling tinggi pun mungkin 120 ataupun 120 something because kita bagi tahu ada satu Kau ada FIBO ah. Rest ah. FIBO ni. Okey. Uh, okay. I think this level 120 40 sampai kat sini. Okey. But <laughs> dekat dari 120 40 ni almost 200 speed <laughs> dia masih naik lagi. Hmm. Okey of course ah uh, Maknanya 200 speed dekat JPO APA is normal tapi yang menjadikan dia tanda tanya ataupun uh, most people probably MC ataupun support uh, is because of this move. So dia punya move hmm. katakan kalau kita ambil dari sini pun almost dekat 800 speed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's why I think 600 speed bila dia naik itu biasa kita expect 600 speed dia naik at least kita expect 100 hingga 150 pip ataupun 200 pip lah at least one third dia akan buat full back so this is where I think most people uh, cuba full margin dekat sini okay as a precaution kita bagi tahu <laughs> okay better hmm. letak stop loss <laughs> atas sedikit okay so siapa yang tak letak stop loss especially JPI pair ni uh, memang uh, kalau saya cukup margin tu 200 pip tu memang kira uh, MC lah. Okay. So this is uh, another learning ataupun things that uh, we really have to orang kata accept the fact dalam Forex ni kadang-kadang sebab why why these things happen. Okay. First of all, we need to see how the market move. For example, macam ni kan. Kebanyakan masa market naik, turun, naik, turun, naik, turun. Jadi kita dah biasa dia naik 200-300 feet, turun 100 feet, naik 100 feet, turun 20-30 feet. Uh, turun 150 pip, maybe naik 80 pip and even paling banyak pun dia naik kata 300 pip, turun 150 pip so dah biasa kita dah tengok this kind of a move okay, in a shorter uh, pip range ataupun in a smaller pip range so kita dah biasa and uh, once in a while bila dia buat this 800 pip in a, orang kata sekali nafas ataupun dua kali nafas I think uh, it's uh, probably beyond anyone's uh, imagination ataupun mapping ataupun uh, technical analysis I, I don't think anybody even siapa-siapa yang pakai technical analysis contoh stokastik ataupun uh, RSI ataupun MACD ataupun whatever technique lah okay I don't think uh, anybody would have got it 100% ataupun uh, even 50-50 as well because this kind of a move is uh, nothing near like what market will be doing in the normal uh, orang kata breakout ataupun ranging ataupun some kind of a trending this trend is uh, we call it probably super super trend okay uh, no no indicators or no technique probably uh, will be able to predict this move unless you really look into macam tadi yang said, uh, nampak US uh, 10 year year uh, macam dia actually going to break out from 2% to 2.5% uh, and then uh, you you followed, let's say, uh, I think uh, last two days, uh, Japanese uh, Prime Minister or Japanese Finance Minister, they were saying uh, they probably won't get, uh, they will still uh, lose, uh, make the uh, say, the policy still ultra loose. So that also push uh, JPY a bit lower and give this boost. Okay, so you guys really, really into uh, that kind of correlation, uh, even if you guys follow strictly on this intermarket correlation, I don't think you guys would have expected uh, even 10 year yield will break out from 2% to 2.5% in one, two days. Because uh, that's not a, a behavior, normal market behavior. Okay. So that's why uh, as normally people say Forex is a high risk. Okay. So whoever been trading, okay. Uh, can, can conquer that okay this kind of a move it happens on an hour and this is where most of the people will MC at the phone blow up their account okay if you really don't uh, manage your 
stop loss ataupun risk management lah. Okay, because we are so get used to this kind of a move sideways ataupun breakout, pullback, then uh, continue dia punya trend. Okay, so having said that, okay, uh, sekarang ni uh, UJ dah sampai ke almost 122.50 ataupun mid uh, 122.50. I think uh, most of the market uh, analysts, they already predicting because even kalau tengok sebelah kiri pun, uh, I think this is about six years high. Okay, 122.40 atau 122.50 ni, uh, this is almost uh, dari per tahun 2017. Okay, and before that it's almost 2016 lah. So this is the highest they made. So as you guys can see kat sini, I think... Uh, 122.50 probably uh, might act a major resistor lah. Okay. Uh, of course, sebab kita dah kena sekali last week. Okay. Uh, so, most of the traders probably will will think, oh, sebab minggu lepas dia buat this move, <laughs> kita kata dia akan turun bawah sebelum maybe uh, buat pick up ke atas dan turun. Tapi pasal kita dah kena kat sini, so some traders uh, probably will not uh, sell at this point. So, they probably lose this opportunity. Tapi kalau tanya saya, uh, I think personally, probably this might give at least couple of hundred pips, uh, at least to about 120.50. Okay, that means uh, we have almost about 200 pips. Ataupun kalau kita ambil 150, 200 pips pun boleh. So, I think it's a most likely, almost sure we probably can sell kat sini. Before dia orang kata naik atas semula dekat one more zone. Next zone almost dekat 123.50. Okay. So that means most likely we probably see this move and then goes up then attempt kat sini. Okay. Then only come down. So this is a move we are expecting the casino, but I think somehow or other uh, this move, but I think at this point next week, this probably will be the move, especially uh, the path concerning JPY. Because at JPY sometimes uh, there has to be a little bit of a correction. Okay, of course, it's a lawan trend. Okay, sometimes uh, most of the general uh, comment will don't Awang kata jangan lawan trend besar. But uh, again, uh, on this point, yes, uh, you guys take it uh, as a awang kata uh, as a precautionary. Okay, there could be some risk involved. Okay, so don't go really awang kata with the high risk. Try to go on the smaller risk or double medium risk and see whether there is a rejection on Monday, Tuesday. Kalau dapat ada rejection, then uh, slowly. But this is not to orang kata swing sebab this is a very uh, strong move. So we probably expect some kind of uh, orang kata strong support somewhere halfway ke sini ataupun uh, one third from this this uh, move to they continue back to create double top ataupun higher high dekat sini. Okay, so this part uh, have to be watch out sebab sekarang ni it's not a sell trend. Cuma kita nak ambil peluang untuk orang kata bila big traders ambil take profit. Okay, uh, kita akan orang kata lawan trend lah in a smaller time frame. So, I'm expecting at least 120.50 to 121 punya ni. The pullback. Okay before it continue up again ataupun sideway for a while. Okay, Bun. Itu adalah UJ. So, nak tengok oh, kali okay, UJ apa-apa. Ya, yeah, boleh, boleh, Cik Rashid. Tapi, it's a good uh, uh, apa, entry lah kalau nak cuba untuk UJ ya. Eh, sebab risk ratio dia agak besar lah. Okay. Uh, kalau tanya the subject kita Malaysian uh, traders kita kita suka lawan kita suka lawan uh, so kita suka lawan trend 
So big big time frame showing uh, orang kata uptrend. Tapi kita uh, trader mesin ni sebab <laughs> dia apa selalu dia macam traffic light. Traffic light kata merah ataupun terus slow down. Masa tu lah kita <laughs> akan laju <laughs> tak tak ikut down down. So yes. similarly kita dah bawa perangai perangai kita dekat trading. Okay. So kalau big trend is up trend, kita selalunya akan lawan uh, trend dia. Okay. So <laughs> Sekarang UJ memang rencana-rencana naik, okay? Kalau tanya siapa-siapa yang apa uh, ni orang kata uh, buy on day, tapi uh, sebab dia punya move tu dah dah, dah almost lapan ratus pip ataupun daripada hari Isnin hari Selasa tu dia dah move almost two hundred to two hundred fifty pips. So I think uh, kita nampak a bit of rejection on Friday night uh, semalam, okay? So I think there is an opportunity lah, at least untuk pergi ke 100 to 150 piece, if not 200 piece. Anything more than that will be a bonus, but uh, don't don't target too much sebab dia punya orang kata engulfing candle ataupun orang kata maru bozu candle, okay? Ataupun uh, ada sini tu, uh, dia ada tiga teknik apa, maru bozu, uptrend, breakout, okay? So siapa yang trade uh, saham tu, uh, mungkin kalau you tanya, uh, jadi jangan lawan trend lah, masa dia pull back. Uh, uh, apa buy on dip tapi I think uh, there is an opportunity uh, but it's up to people who are on a high risk ataupun medium risk traders untuk untuk sell uh, daripada 122 sekarang ni ok baik terima kasih Encik Rashid